Welcome to our story time. Tell me something happy before I go to sleep. Written by Joyce Dunbar and Debbie Galori. This is a family favorite of ours. It has a special dedication to Dale and Jossie, my special grandchildren, for happy thoughts at bedtime. All my love and prayers, Mamo. These are the dedications that the author wrote. For Gina by JB, JD, sorry. With all my love for my daughter, Sophie and Kate Rose from DG. That is a dedication on the dedication page. Tell me something happy before I go to sleep. There's that title again. On the title page, you're right. Willow was tired. So Willow went to bed. She lay with her pillow that way, this way, and that way, and another way. But Willow couldn't sleep. Do you ever get like that? You can't sleep and fill it, and your bed just seems to want to keep you awake. Willoughby, called Willa. Are you there? Yes, answered Willoughby. I'm here. I can't sleep, said Willa. Why can't you sleep? asked Willoughby. I'm afraid, said Willa. What are you afraid of? asked Willoughby. I'm afraid that I might have a bad dream, said Willa. Think of something happy, then you won't have a bad dream, said Willoughby. Isn't he a nice big brother? He's trying to help her to fix what's wrong, isn't he? So Willa tried to think of something happy, but she couldn't. Willoughby! called Willa. Are you still there? Yes, answered Willoughby. I'm still here. What can I think of that is happy? asked Willa. Oh, lots of things, said Willoughby. Tell me, tell me something happy before I go to sleep. Willoughby thought for a moment. Then he said, Willa, look under your bed. So Willa leaned over and looked under her bed. What do you see? asked Willoughby. I see my chicken slippers, said Willa. That's right, said Willoughby. And do you know what your chicken slippers are doing? No, said Willoughby. Said Willa, I don't. They are waiting, just waiting, for nobody's feet but yours. Good said Willa. That's happy. What else? What do you see on the chair? asked Willoughby. I see my blue and white jumpsuit, said Willa. Do you know what your jumpsuit is doing? asked Willoughby. No, said Willa. I don't. It's longing, just longing for tomorrow when you will jump out of bed and put it on. Good, said Willa. That's happy. What else? Willoughby picked Willa up in his arms and padded softly downstairs to the kitchen. He opened the pantry door. What do you see on the shelves? asked Willoughby. I see bread and honey and oats and milk and apples, said Willa. That's right, said Willoughby, all waiting to be made into breakfast for you and me to share. Oh, good, said Willa. That's happy. What else? Willoughby carried Willa into the living room and switched on the lamp. What do you see in the corner? asked Willoughby. 
I see my basket full of toys, said Willa. What do you think they are doing? asked Willoughby. I don't know, said Willa. They are dreaming. Dreaming of tomorrow and the games that you're going to play. That's very happy, said Willa. What else? Willoughby carried Willa to the window and opened the curtains wide. What do you see in the darkness? said Willoughby. I see only the night, said Willa. What do you think the night is doing? asked Willoughby. I don't know, said Willa. The night is waiting, waiting for the morning, which is on its way around the world. That's happy said Willa. The morning is waiting too, said Willoughby. What for? asked Willa. Oh, lots of things, said Willoughby. What things? asked Willa. For grass to grow, flowers to bloom, and leaves to flutter. For clouds to float, and wind to blow, and sun to shine, for birds to fly, bees to buzz, and chicks, ducks to quack. That's a lot of happy things, said Willa. There's just one thing, said Willoughby. What's that? asked Willa. The morning's waiting for you, too. It's waiting to wake you up. But I'm already awake, said Willa. That's why it's sad, said Willoughby. The morning likes waking you up. That's what makes the morning happy. Willoughby, said Willa. What is it, asked Willoughby. I'm tired. So Willoughby carried Willa back to bed. What do you see in your bed, asked Willoughby. I see my bear, said Willa. What do you think he is doing? asked Willoughby. Waiting for me to snuggle up with him, said Willa. That's right, said Willoughby. Waiting especially for you. And when the morning comes, and when the morning comes and wakes me up, Will you still be here? asked Willa. I'm will still be here, said Willoughby. Good, said Willa. That's the happiest thing of all. Good night, Willa. But Willa didn't answer. She was sound asleep. The end. When you go to sleep, I hope that you can rest and have sweet dreams and wait for the morning to come and wake you up so that the morning can be happy too. Bye for now.